friends today we will talk about how to answer any statistical exercise in five steps so that you can get the maximum marks first of all read the given statistical exercise very carefully so that you can get the idea regarding what problem has been solved like in this example vaccine against measles whether it is effective or not This is the ideal way to look at any statistical problem. So don't skip any steps and each steps carry 2 marks. Step 1 write down null hypothesis h0 and alternate hypothesis h1. Null means no effect, alternate means effect present. Or you can say there is no difference or there is a difference between two groups. In this example, vaccine is protective against measles is our hypothesis. So, vaccine does not have any effect against measles is null hypothesis, and vaccine do have effect against measles is alternate hypothesis. Or we can write two groups are equal or no difference, and two groups are different and not equal. step 2 identify and write down the statistical data that has been given and which statistical test you are going to perform types of data are basically two type qualitative data where you can perform chi square or z test for proportion and quantitative data where you can perform student t test or z test for standard error of difference between two mean and remember that z test is used when sample size is more than 30 If you want to know more about types of data watch this video given in the link Step 3 In third step you can mention all the statistical calculation and formulas step 4 in step 4 we would be writing our results write down calculated value of chi square t test z test and also write a comparative statement whether your calculated value is higher or lower than the given table value step 5 finally in step 5 you can write your conclusion if the calculated value is higher than table value null hypothesis is rejected and we can say that vaccine is protective against measles and if the calculated value is lower than table value we fail to reject null hypothesis and we can say that vaccine does not protect against measles To summarize, write down your hypothesis, types of data and statistical test, steps of calculation, write down your result and finally write down your conclusion. Thank you. For the model answer you can check the description and download.